hi so in this video i'm going to teach you how to test using the multimeter electronic components so this is basically a 100 percent practical video so let's get started but please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video because your likes motivate me to create more and more videos for you i'm sorry for my voice because i'm sick a little bit let's get started so first we're gonna as you can see here select the diode option as you can see in the multimeter okay and then press the power button so let's test first diodes so i have here diodes as you can see here outside the board and i will show you also how to test diodes inside the board okay so let's begin first with inside the board okay so let's begin with diodes so for example let's pick this one the first one here so here as you can see we have cathode and here we have anode so i will put the black probe in the cathode as you can see and the red probe in the anode and i should get a reading in the multimeter as you can see i get a reading in the multimeter okay so when i swap the probes as you can see okay so nothing in the multimeter means this is a good diode so let's check this one also as you can see over here so we have here cathode okay and here we have anode so let's put the black probe in the cathode like this and do red probe in the anode we should get a reading as you can see in the multimeter so if i swap the props of multimeter i should not get anything in the multimeter okay <coughs> But for the board, basically, it's not a 100% accurate. If you want to check whether the diode is good or not, you should normally take the diode outside the board, like this one. Okay? And check it using the same working principle. We have cathode here, and we have anode here. So, if I put the black probe in the cathode, as you can see, okay? And the red probe in the anode, I get the red in the multimeter okay so if I swap the props as you can see so no red in the multimeter okay means this is a good guide so but in the world as I told you before you can when you swap the probes you could get a red because this diode could be in parallel with other components like for example another diode or a resistor or a muscle or a transistor etc so now let's test the bridge rectifier as you can see over here this is basically bridge rectifier okay so this bridge rectifier basically is used to make the voltage a continuous voltage okay we use this kind of bridges in the switch mode power supply so to test this component you should put here we have minus here we have plus the same for this one we have here minus here plus and here we have ac this two for ac this two also for ac so to test the kind of compound i show you how so always you should put the multimeter in the continuity option or diode option and then here we have the read prop of the multimeter we should put it here in the negative of the bridge rectifier and the black probe once here as you can see we get a ready and if we move it to other ac terminal we get a ready and here we should get a double ready or a simple ready means this bridge rectifier is a good bridge rectifier but if i swap the props as you can see so the black probe here i should not get anything here here also nothing here also nothing means this is a good bridge rectifier so let's check this one also as you can see over here so let's put the red probe here in the negative terminal okay like this okay 
okay and then check the first pin we get already the second one we get already the fourth one we get already also but if I swap the props as you can see nothing here nothing here and nothing here <coughs> means this bridge rectifier also is a good bridge rectifier so let's check these two fuses as you can see here basically the fuses are simple to test to check the fuses basically it's very simple here we have a serviceable fuse as you can see and over here we have a bad fuse a burned one okay so to test the fuse you should just put one probe of, of multimeter here and another here and of course in the continuity option of the multimeter so let's check so i should i should just put one probe here as you can see over here and another here and i get as you can see here <coughs> i should get a very low as you can see resistor in the multimeter and a buzzer okay so this is a good use but for this one <coughs> It's the same one probe here and another hand. Nothing in the multimeter means this is a bad fuse. Okay, so for the fuse, for example, if you have a bad fuse, you should replace it with another fuse with the same characteristics. So for this one, for example, the characteristics for this fuse, as you can see here, so we have three amps, okay, and for the voltage we have 250 volt so you should replace it with another fuse with the same characteristics okay so 3 amps 250 volt so let's check this one also so also as you can see we have 3 amps and 250 volt so we can so we can replace this bad one with this one okay so for the capacitors how can we check the capacitors so we have here basically three capacitors that i'm going to show you how to check so basically this one this is a bad one and these two are good so let's check the good one okay you can just always i work with the same mode in the multimeter okay continue to mode on tired mode so i can just put one pro here, okay, and the other here, and look to the multimeter. So if I swap, you see, look up, and if I swap the probes, <coughs> the same thing. So the capacitor charge and discharge means this is a good capacitor, but for this one, this do the same as you can see nothing happened in the multimeter if i swap the props nothing so this is basically a dead capacitor because a dead capacitor could be could give a continuity in its terminal or no scene of life so for this one for example this is our service blower so this capacitor basically as you can see is for laptop and also you can find it in the computer or desktop motherboard okay so let's check it we should get in the multimeter charge discharge okay so let's check you can see in the multimeter charge discharge if i swap the props you see charge discharge okay means this is a good capacitor okay <coughs> so for the inductor here we have as you can see inductor so basically for the inductor the inductor is just a wire as you can see a winded a wire so always we can use always this mode to continue with the mode and check this inductor for the inductor you should get a continuity and a buzzer so a very low resistor 
So I'll just check. As you can see in the multimeter, very low resistors. Okay? Means this is good. It's not a cathode wire. Let's check this one also. As you can see, a low resistance in the multimeter and buzzer means this is also a gold in back. Okay, so here basically we have, as you can see here, a component with two diodes, as you can see. Here we have its reference in BR2100 CT, as you can see. So basically to check or to test this compound easy because we have two diodes as you can see connected together so we can just test this diode over here okay and then test this one also so let's check so here we have the anode and here we have the cathode we get a reading if I swap the probes I should not get anything good and for this one also here we have the anode and here we have the cathode we get a reading and <coughs> if i swap the probes nothing in the multimeter means also this is good okay so for this kind of capacitor as you can see you can find this kind of capacitor in the switch mode power supply basically this is a protection capacitors or filter capacitors that remove the interference in the circuit. We find always this kind of capacitor in parallel, means it connects the line with the neutral in order to remove and to eliminate the high frequencies. Okay, so to test this kind of capacitors, you should always use, as you can see, this mode. <coughs> To continuity mode in the multimeter and this capacitor should never be shorted okay if the capacitor is shorted means bad okay so let's check so we can just test these two terminals let's put this one and this one as you can see no continuity means this is a good one okay let's check this one also so now continuity means also this one is good. Here basically I have an LED as you can see. Many of, of my followers ask me how to test this LED. Basically if you focus here inside this LED or light emitting diode we have two parts. This big metal part and this also. So basically this is the cathode. The big one is the cathode and this one is the anode. So we should put here the red probe and here the negative probe. Okay, so let's check it. So the same working principle as the diode. So here I will put the red one and the black one. As you can see, I get a reading. So this is the anode and here cathode. I get a reading in the multimeter. Do you see? So if I swap the probes, so as you can see, nothing in the multimeter. <coughs> and do you see? The LED eliminated. Okay? Do you see? Here the LED means this is a good LED. Okay? Let's get right now and to check the transform. So basically the transformer contains main inductors inside it as you can see. So and for the transformer we have always the primary winding and the secondary winding. Okay? Two parts. Okay? So to check basically the transformer, we should just check using the same mode here do continuity of this coil. So this is the first one. As you can see, we get a low resistance and a buzzer, so this is good winding or coil. And this one, we get a reading, as you can see, low resistance. This is a good one. Let's check here also, so this should be the first one. So we don't get a reading here. So let's check this one also. 
we don't get anything so maybe the inductor is here let's check this too as you can see a low resistance in the multimeter as you can see means here these two are one inductor and these two here should be another as you can see okay so we have the first coil the second and here we have the two others this transform basically is a good transform so let's check this one also okay so here we have four terminals and here basically we have five we cannot see <coughs> So let's check this inductor. Let's check this one also. So let's check here. Okay. So here we have the first inductor as you can see. This and this. And this should be the second one. As you can see in the multimeter. Okay. So let's see here also. This is another inductor. Okay, this two. And this is another inductor. So basically, these three terminals belong to the same inductor, as you can see. Here we have, as you can see, in the multimeter we have low resistance and buzzer. And also this and this. Also this one and this one. Okay. So here we have inductor with two terminals and here inductor with three terminals. Okay. So this one also is good. So I will add for you another component. <coughs> Let's test here this component. This is the Zener diode as you can see. This one. So basically the Zener diode also contains cathode and anode as you can see. So this is the symbol for Zener diode. And here we have the symbol for normal diode. Okay. So to check the Zener diode, you should do the same. Just put the black probe here and the cathode. And to read probe into anode. So let's check. Always using the diode option. Okay. So here I should put the black probe here and the read probe here. I get a read in the multimeter as you can see. If I swap the probes, nothing in the multimeter. Let's check this one also. Here I get a read. If I swap the probes nothing in the multimeter so let's check this one also so reading in the multimeter this one also reading in the multimeter okay so that's it guys for this video we're gonna continue on our in your next videos and of course thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe share and like because your engagement, as I told you, in motivate me to create more and more videos. And of course, for anyone who wants to join me on Patreon page, you are very welcome. Thank you very much.